Hello everybody, welcome back to Don Amots. My name's Adam, a uh, nice beautiful sunny day here today and we've got for you a real treat. We have a Winesburg Caracor, Caracor 650 MF. It's a 2020, um, covered just over a thousand miles. It's a 2.3, uh, 140 brake, manual gearbox um, on your Fiat. Um, so let's have a look around. It's a three and a half ton uh, first to mention. So you can drive this on a standard UK license. You don't need your C1 entitlement. We've got four traveling seat belts. We've got comfortably sleeps four. We do have the option for your fifth sleeper as well. We've got the infill cushion for that. So nice family vehicle. As you can see down this side straight away, big awning all the way along the top. On the roof, you can see your TV aerial. You can see your um, solar panel on the top there as well if you can on this. It's very bright here. Um, electrical entrance step, we've got your fridge freezer vents on there, we've got your alloy wheels that you can see. We have storage for your gas bottles in there, you get two bottles in there. And then we have access to your garage. This is a French bed in this one which we'll see on the inside but this is storage underneath it. You can access it from inside and outside here. Awning winder and your toolkit in there as well, hopefully you won't need that. Around to this side, we've got your bike rack, all the nice graphics on there as well. Moving further around, um, toilet cassette lives just in there, nothing too exciting, I won't go into that too much. Um, and in here we have access to your fresh water tank, your, your wastewater drain off, so we've got your boiler drain off there. Electrical hookup comes up from underneath the van through the little hole just there so you can, it's fully lockable so you can keep that locked and secure while you're in there um, and down near the passenger door here we've got your diesel point and add blue as well on this one entrance door into the cab and then we'll move around and we'll go and have a look on the inside right back with me to have a look around the inside before we do we've got your electrical entrance step We've got fly screen on your door as well. So we'll head on in. I'll let Wendy go in first, down towards the cab. So you've got your dinette area just here. And um, we've got a piece of floor that moves away just to keep it level when you are here. Um, table into your cab. I'll take the passenger seat. Um, so we have got sat nav, we've got your air conditioning, we've got USBs, six speed manual gearbox, like I mentioned outside. We've got your cruise control all the usual features you'd expect got your important cup holders one either side <laughs> and we've got your cab blinds pulls down on the windscreen all the way down and we've got curtains on the side windows as well to give you the privacy um, lots of you've got your lights up here as well if you did need them on an evening moving back a little bit we've got your extra traveling seats are just here so these are the other two of your four traveling seats um, tables adjustable and this does make up into a single um, at the front as well so this is where your fifth uh, person would sleep if you wanted them to bed above the cab um, first thing you need to do pull your seats down the lever on either side nice and easily done I've already undone the buckles there's two buckles for securing the bed up there and there's a lever just behind here which I don't think you can see just pop your hand on it and it pulls all the way down benefit of this one is that you can still use your dining area whilst the bed's down so if you did have any little ones I'll let Wendy go up so you can have a look and they were in bed you still can sit and use your table if you need to you've got a skylight above the bed as well so if you need some ventilation um, and you've got some holders at the top if you need to strap any reading material or anything like that in and you've got your lighting up there as well above my head here big sunroof which opens just winds fully opens and again on this you've got fly screens and blinds a feature all the way around the vehicle plenty of storage and um, we've got some reading material in there your instructions and stuff you've got more storage up here all the way around the van plenty of storage into your kitchen area you've got your window which obviously opens fly screens and blinds on there you've got your three ring gas hob sink and we do have Two plug sockets there so if you want kettle toast or anything like that you've got plenty of power into your kitchen loads of storage underneath you've got your plug your gas isolation taps in there um, everything on your in your drawers they're all soft closing as well apart from the bottom one over to this side you'll notice you've got your mirror 
coat hooks, put any of your wet stuff on there. Your main control panel for the van, it's really easy to use. Any of the sales team can show you that. This is to control your awning lights. You can either have it on permanently or you can have it on your sensor. And you've got the heater, uh, the control panel for your Truma heating, so it's your blown air heating in this vehicle. Just around here, got your full size Thetford fridge and freezer compartment, nice and big. Freezer box just at the top. Plenty of shelves, and you've got your pull-out drawer at the bottom down there as well. You've got some holders on the door as well there. Over this side, huge wardrobe. You've got hanging rail at the top, and a couple of shelves down there as well. Get all your essentials in there. Um, this is your French bed, so part of your bedroom. Um, this, we saw underneath from outside, you saw the locker. Um, this is the other side of it. So if you can see just down there, you can see your awning winder, so you can access it from inside and out. Plenty of storage there, get everything you might need. We've got a TV just here. Plenty of lighting, you've got your LED lighting all the way around as well. Loads of storage lockers up above. Uh, again, you've got your uh, roof which opens and you've got your blinds and fly screens on there. Curtains for privacy, so if you have got guests in the front, you can shut this off from the back. Um, and then into your bathroom. We've got um, your sink, your toilet, nice mirror, full, shy, full size sorry, shower cubicle, which is separate from the rest of your bathroom. Lots of light in there as well. So it's just arrived with us. Uh, my name's Adam. If you've got any questions, give me a call or any of the sales team more than happy to help you. There's plenty of us here to answer any of your questions. If you do want to come and see this vehicle, give us a call before you come. Make sure it is still available. Remember, you can drive it on a standard UK license. So this is available to anyone um, that has got a standard UK driving license. And if you've got any more questions, any help you need, please give one of us a call. Thank you.